Welcome everybody, my name is Tommy T999 and this is the Fortnite Battle Royale Kills of the Week. Yes, back for episode 6, where all of the clips are hoping to move on to the kill of the month with the ultimate goal of becoming the Fortnite Kill of the Year. We're kicking off with some honourable mentions. HM2 is from Papa Jim, who has gone for a bit of rocket surfing and then picked up the most incredible snipe. And then we've got HM1 from Just Ewan who goes for the long-range rocket, aiming for the tree, and yes, gets the victory royale. Now, after you've seen all of the clips, you need to vote and decide for your favourite, and it couldn't be simpler, just write the letter, or the letters and number if you choose one of the honourable mentions down below in the comments. And if you want to get involved, leave a link to your clip down below, and this could be you in the next episode. And if we get 5,000 likes in this video, you've liked, subscribed, and commented, one of you will be picked at random and win a T999 snapback and t-shirt. Follow me on social media, they're all linked on screen right now. See what I get up to when I'm not making these videos. Plus, there's always loads of competitions going on for you to win some amazingly cool stuff. This, though, is your choice for Kill A. It is from Sponge. And prior to these knockdowns, yes, there were already four kills in the bank. Now just seven others remain in the way of an epic clutch victory royale. Dakotaz, this one is for you, my friend. Following on from that, we have got your second choice. It is Kill B from Weezer16. This is our first ever launch pad clip. Yes, it's gracing the series and showing us how you can manipulate a situation to secure victory when it's down to the all important final two. Simple when you know how and you've got the launch pad. Kill C is from Steven on PS4, and this is all about shutting down a squad with just a single sniper. Four shots, all hitting their targets, and the rest is history. That final snipe, getting the kill and taking down everyone else that had been knocked down prior. This is Kill D from Freaky Noodles. So the zone is shrinking to almost its smallest circumference and we are down to the final two. One on the ground below and one way up high in the sky. It is time to see how this is going to play out and unfold and who will take the win. If in doubt, drop and shotgun him to the face. Killy is from Snipero503 and beginning with the revive and then just having 30 health to play with, there is just one squad that stands in the way of winning it all. Unfortunately, as quickly as anything, the three on four soon becomes a one versus four and a whole different ball game. of victory for Snipero and his team. K 
Kill F is from Cursed Soul 89. Ever wondered what a bush flying on top of a pumpkin rocket would look like, or even be able to achieve? No, me neither. But I've got you covered as this clip offers us all of the answers we ever desired. Unbelievable. How do you follow that? I'll tell you how. We have got Kill G. It is from Mini Chinny. And sometimes things happen that you just can't explain. This first knockdown is a prime example, followed by a kneecapping for the double elimination. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Harvey! We have got to see this first one again. Bullets flying towards your face. It's time for a no scope. <laughs> what a knockdown. Kill H is I'm Dark Striker, and it's not enough to survive a rocket to the face. You have to still deal with a full on squad advance as the storm approaches and closes in on your position. It is very lucky he had two thirds shield and full health to survive that rocket that was literally full on facial. Kill I is Verrazzo. Normally the satisfaction of taking down a sky base and watching your enemies fall to their doom is enough. Not the case here though. The cherry on top snipe is a thing of beauty. Three, two, one. No, oh my, Nate, Billy, you the, oh my, what? Honestly, we again have to see this in slow-mo. Yes, they were falling, and they would have just hit the ground and they would have won, but he manages to knock one out mid-fall. And this then is your final choice. It is Kill J. It is from It's Just okay, Winter. Bush camping in preparation of removing a single squad from this game soon becomes something far greater, as there is no rest for the winners who seek that victory royale. He hits me once, I'm dead. For the wall starts moving. I know, Ben. I saw somebody else over there. That's the only thing scaring me right now. It wasn't enough that they had to deal with just one squad. He had to deal with two, and what a great job he did. So now it is over to you to vote and decide for your favourite. One of these will move on to the kill of the month, but they need your votes, so make sure you write the letter down below in the comments. Plus, if you want to get involved, leave a link to your clip in the comments as well. 
If we can get 5,000 likes on this video, you've liked, subscribed, and commented down below, one of you will be picked at random to win a T999 snapback and t-shirt. And if you want to follow me on social media, they are all linked on screen, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and my gamer tags. See what I get up to when I'm not making these videos, plus always doing a few giveaways, so you might be in with a chance of winning something. If you want to subscribe to the channel when you don't really do so for daily top 10s and loads of other gameplay, click on the logo on the left, and if you want to check out another video, you can click on the one on the right. I've been Tommy T999, I'll speak to you again in the next one.